Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on the basics of using the online version of the Oxford English Dictionary. The Oxford English Dictionary, often simply called the OED, is an unusual dictionary because in addition to providing definitions of words, it also really dives into the history of words. To look up a word in the online OED, click in the quick search box, type in the word that you'd like to look up, and then click on the red go button. I'm going to look up the word intelligence. Sometimes you'll have options on your search results screen. I have a verb form of the word intelligence and a noun form. I'm going to click on the noun form to go to the full entry with the complete information about the word. Our word appears in the top of the screen in large font and red letters, and it's followed by the pronunciation, both British and US. The British pronunciation has a blue play arrow next to it. If I click on that, I can hear the audio of the word being pronounced. Intelligence. Next to that is the spelled out version of the pronunciation. If this pronunciation code doesn't make sense to you, simply click on it to get the phonetic pronunciation. Now we start getting into the information that the OED is so well known for. In the forms section, we have all the different known forms or spellings of the words that have been used over time. Each one of these forms is accompanied by a combination of letters and or numbers, and that lets us know when this form of the word was in use. So for example, ME-15 tells us that this form of the word intelligence was in use in Middle English in the 1500s. Below that, we've got the etymology. The etymology section traces the origin of the word and describes the way or ways that we think the word came into the English language. Following that, we have the first definition, like you might find in any different any dictionary. That's accompanied by a list of quotes. The quotes provide evidence of this word with this definition uh, actually in use in print. So the earliest time we've been able to find this use of the word intelligence in print is circa 1390, so approximately 1390. This quote is from an author named Gower, and this is the title that it came from. And then we have the quote itself. We can click on the title of the book if we want to find out more information or more quotes from this author or this title. The quotes are in chronological order, so words like intelligence that are still in use are going to have some more modern quotes. So this one is from 1992. If the word continues to stay in use, the OED will continue to add more quotes to this list. From there, we can move on to the second definition. Um, again, the second definition is accompanied by quotes showing the word in use with that second definition. We have a third definition, and then the same thing. We have a list of chronological quotes showing the word in use with this third definition, and it goes on from there. Scrolling back up to the top of the screen, I wanted to point out the link to the thesaurus. A lot of words will have a thesaurus thesaurus link, and that provides you with a list of synonyms for the word. Um, keep in mind that the OED is a historical dictionary, so some of these words might not seem familiar, and some of them might not be in use anymore. And you can click on any one of them to go and see the entry for that word. In the middle section, we have the word we looked up in combination with other words to form either compound words or phrases. So we can click on any of these if we would like to go and see the entry for, say, Intelligence Bureau or Intelligence Brief. On the far right side, we have a list of words. Our word is highlighted in red, and the words before or after that are the words that would appear before or after the word intelligence if we were looking at a print version of the dictionary. So this feature is good if you like to browse around um, and try either different forms of the word, or you can use these arrows to scroll through and choose a different word altogether. The online OED has a few other features. You can print out all the information um, from this entry on intelligence. You can also send yourself an email. That email will have a link that will bring you back to this entry in the online OED. You can also use the citation tool. The citation tool offers a suggested citation in either MLA or Chicago style. Select the one you'd like. It is a suggested citation. It's computer generated, and so it's not always perfect. So do check it against whichever style guide you're using. 
And lastly, if you'd like to look up another word, you can always click on the OED logo to go back to the home page, or there's a quick search box here at the top of the page to look up a new word. If you'd like any help using the online OED, please feel free to contact the library. You should feel free to stop by and ask any staff members for help. Our website has our current hours, and that's at www.siskiyous.edu slash library. You can always call us. Our phone number is 530-938-5331, or you can even email us. Our email address is library at siskiyous.edu. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy researching.